right. Here we go. This is a video on palette knife. I started doing a little bit of that. But we're going to do some flowers in using a palette knife. Using a small palette, palette knife, by the way. Something this small. Uh, there's many different ways to skin this. But this is the way that I'm going to be doing it right now. And what I'm going to start is I'm going to start with some of those some of those flowers. Okay? Let's start with some of those flowers. Just, just going like this. Look. Simple. Yet effective. All right. So I'm mixing a little bit of white, okay, just to create to create a tint here. I'm using a little bit of white with uh, purple and and a little bit of fuchsia. So this is going to be very much textured impasto. Those of you who don't know what impasto is, it's just texture. That's all it really means. And there's my dog chasing trucks. <laughs> <laughs> he never lets me down. There was like no traffic Yeah. He's like, hmm. Let's go chase this thing. Car. Yeah, there you go. Very simple. Look at it. Very simple, yet effective. Ouch. Sorry. All right. Really, you just kind of have to feel for it, you know? You kind of have to just feel for it. Feel for the flowers. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. Boom, baby. What I'm going to do next, uh, while this is cooking, because believe it or not, those flowers are cooking, baby. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to start by putting a little bit of that green around the flowers. Okay? So putting a little bit of that green around the flowers. And this is sort of like a little bouquet of flowers, so you're gonna see right now. So I'm gonna start putting a little bit of that green. Can't make the scene if you ain't got that green, baby. Here we go. Now for this, the paint can't really be running, okay? So, so those of you who see me paint very runny with my brush, you can't really have the paint runny with this. As a matter of fact, the less runny the paint, the better the painting is going to come out. Uh, I had already pre-mixed my paint because I used it for both, for palette knife and brush. So in this case, the paint is a little bit soft. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't really mind it, but um, the less soft it is, the better for this kind of effect because uh, you want the, the paint to, the palette knife to really create a, a butter consistency, right? That's really what you're achieving with a palette knife. You're creating sort of a, a buttery consistency. Look at that. Ooh la la, a la Francois. <laughs> I'm gonna get some blue and some uh, phthalo. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start putting some in there. This is to create uh, depth, right? There's something in the background. The darker it is, the more it recedes, right? It goes to the background. The lighter it is, the more it comes forward. In distances, it's different. Okay, in distances, the lighter it is, not necessarily light as in, as in a tinted, but but the the more subdued, I guess, uh, if, if that's even a word, uh, the colors are the lighter, the the farther away they are.
Look at that. Ooh la la, a la Francois, baby. Check it out. Now I'm gonna do some, because we're gonna give it the effect that there's a, a palette, uh, I mean a palette, uh, there's a bouquet, right? It's a bouquet of flowers. So we're gonna give it that effect. Just a little bit, you know, just a little bit of that effect. Look at that. By the way, this painting is available in, is, is going to be available in my eBay shop and the, the auction is gonna start at $1. Can you believe that? Who, who does this kind of crazy stuff? I do. The only reason I do it I know some other artists are like, man, I, I you know, I, I want to do what you do, but, but I don't want to, you know, I just basically don't want to give them away. You're right. You're right. I'm too local like that. I don't blame you that you don't want to do it. I don't blame you at all. I do not blame you. But I have a commitment towards my uh, artwork, and and I need to, I need to, uh, I need to continue painting and, and and putting them on auction. It's one of the ways that I just you know, sort of reach out to people and tell them, hey, you know what, we got some original work here. I paint so much that, I mean, the galleries at some point are like, man, I don't know what to do with all these paintings now. It's just sort of my cup of tea, painting. So this is how we're doing this bouquet. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some black behind this and then this way we can we can have a, a again right that depth so the other lighter colors can come out and again guys this is this is only one of the many ways of doing this this is a very small palette knife right usually i use a little larger palette knife and i just wanted to show you i mean essentially just show you what can be done look very is probably one of the smallest palette knives I have. I think it's the smallest one I have. But it is so much fun to do this kind of stuff. Because it really, it gets you out of your comfort zone. My comfort zone is, is I like to cover space quick. Right? That's my comfort zone. Like, oh, I'm going to paint so quick. I, I do that so quick. But sometimes doing things slightly different, uh, regardless of whether you got time or not, you got to do it, right? Because it, it gets you out of your comfort zone. And then it lets you see other things that you weren't, uh, you couldn't see otherwise. You know, you couldn't see otherwise. Look at that. If it wasn't for that. Look at those flowers. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate all your beautiful comments. I really appreciate um, you guys uh, being here, participating. Simply by, by, by looking and, and, you know, just looking at the work. I kind of feel happier than that. Just having people look at the work and being like, oh my God, let me see that. You know, it might be for you, it might not be for you, it might not be your thing. But if it is, thank you so much for being here. change a little bit the dynamic with changing also some of the colors right? a little bit of blue right there with a palette knife is is, is a little tricky whatever you touch once uh, unless you're doing something else, it's 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 tricky to touch it twice. If that makes any sense, um, because it's like putting icing on a cake, right? So so it, it's a little tricky if you continue to to work on the same area with the same color. You start getting it muddy, or you start um, simply losing the the, the the sense of what was there. Unless you know exactly what you're doing, then so, by all means. But if you're starting out, that's something that I, I recommend moving to different areas. I'm saying one area. 
will stay too long at least in one area. So you, even if you're using a little palette knife, move, move to a different area. So move to a different one. So you're so the color doesn't overwhelm you in, in just one area. She asked me to hold up her combine and then look at that. There you go. Okay. This is usually the palette knife that I use, a little bit bigger. And look at that. Either way, it just depends on the size of the, of the canvas. It's a little canvas, I was using the little palette knife. And I'm going to go back and put some. Uh, Light yellow, just very light yellow. Get a little bit of that sense of that light somewhere. Boom, baby, look at that. And there are our flowers. Hope you guys enjoyed this little segment, this little session right here. Thank you so much. And this painting is available in my eBay shop. So go check it out. The link is in my profile. Let's do a close up. Bam, baby. Look at that. There it is. Thank you guys. Take care. Talk to you soon.